the inclination of a solid is considered with respect to axis of the solid okay so this is the first thing that you should remember now conditions to solve a question it's the first condition what is the first condition first condition is size of the solid same the size of the solid should be known to you to solve a question secondly yes orientation or inclination orientation or inclination of whole solid okay orientation or inclination of the whole solid then third is orientation of solid with respect to now all those parts that we just had seen now okay uh, you can say base edge okay then corner then longer edge okay then you can say rectangular face right then you know everything apex slant edge triangular face etc so all those parts of solids that we have done so with respect to all those parts you know the orientation of solid is there now let us let us just see this what do i mean by just saying that the solid is you know parallel or perpendicular to any of the principal planes let us say this is the first quadrant now this is a cylinder let us say this is a cylinder now it is resting on its base on hp like this just see what is the second condition perpendicular to hp because its axis is perpendicular to hp it is like this okay you have to see its axis only not the solid you have to see its axis okay so these these this lateral surface it may not be parallel to the axis okay it may not be parallel to the axis so you have to see the axis now if axis is perpendicular and parallel to per, perpendicular to hp and parallel to vp so the solid is also perpendicular to hp and parallel to vp similarly if because if it is like this let us say it is inclined to hp and parallel to vp you have to see the axis only now i'll give you give you one more example to like for with this it will be more clear to you now just see this solid what is this this is a pentagonal pyramid right parallel to vp and perpendicular to hp just see this because its axis is parallel to a, a vp and perpendicular to hp you have to see the axis only although you see these sides and all these are not parallel or perpendicular getting me these are inclined only so you have to see the axis just see the axis 
Now let us see if it is like this. If it is like this, you just see it is inclined to HP and parallel to BP. Okay. So let us see a question now. Let us see one question. Question: Draw the projections of a cube of 35 mm side resting on one of its faces on HP such that one of the vertical faces is parallel to and 10 mm 10 mm in front of BP. So this is a cube. This is a cube. This is VP. This is HP. So, according to the question, cube is resting on HP on its face like this. Let us. It is resting on HP. Okay, vertical face such that vertical face is parallel to VP and 10 mm in front of it. So, let us say if it is it it is placed like this. Okay, let us say either this or this. Let us take it to be like this. this face i am talking about this face now this face is parallel to vp you see this is vp it is parallel to vp and this distance distance from vp it is 10 mm this is the question so this is a cube it is resting on one of its faces on hp okay such that one of the vertical faces is parallel to vp and now this what are the vertical faces this 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 and this so let us say i am considering this this is parallel to vp and is in 10 mm in front of vp this distance is 10 mm right so now again there is a golden rule so what is that rule i'll just write it you can note it down so always draw that view first in which base of solid is visible okay we'll draw that view first in which base of the solid is visible to us okay like in this case it is like you know you see it from top or anywhere it is the same thing but in case of different uh, solids let us say if this is a square prism so here which view you will be drawing first in which view will you be able to see the base or top the top view obviously yes it will be the top view okay so even if it is this type of solid okay here also you will draw the top view only because you when you see it from the top it will form the shape of the base right so according to the question it is like this it is resting on hp such that this distance is 10 mm so i will first of all i'll i'll leave a distance of 10 mm from vp and draw a square because this is the square this is the top view so this is the square i'll be drawing so this is x this is y leave a distance of 10 mm from vp it means from xy line vertically draw the projection so it is 35 mm okay so this is now you have to understand the naming also just understand it carefully now let us say all of these solids we will be considering as you know there are two like this is top and this is base so let us say this is a b c and d okay let us say this is a b c and d okay then similarly 
if this is a this is p this is b this is q this is c this is r this is d and this is s p q r s okay let us say if this is a b c d let it be p q r s it because we'll be we have to name all the corners so this is this let us say from the top this is a b c and d now in this case whatever comes you know uh, in the second time you name you write it inside the figure let us say this is p q r s now if you see this figure from here you get to know you know you are seeing it from the top this is a okay this is a and this is p getting it this is a this is p this is b okay b is written you know outside so it is directly visible to you and below b is q so this is q similarly c r d and s is it clear yes please okay then draw the projection lines okay these are the projection lines now it is resting on hp it is given it is resting on hp so the top the front view will be drawn on xy line Now we have to name these again. How will we be naming this? You look from this direction for the front view. What will be the name of this corner? This will be B dash A dash. Just see again. This is A. This is B, C, and D. so when you are viewing it from the front b comes first then comes a behind b a is there getting me so when you view it from the front this corner is b dash a dash then similarly this will be c dash and d dash okay on the other side this will be q dash p dash and this will be R dash and S dash, and one side is equal to thirty-five mm. Let us say this side is equal to thirty-five. And this distance, this distance is ten mm. 